Zapier's just made a massive upgrade called Zapier Canvas and I was able to get my hands on this new feature so join me in exploring this breathtaking addition to Zapier. For those of you who are not sure what Zapier is, Zapier is a no-code solution for people looking to connect external softwares together without needing to know any code or real programming knowledge. And if this is something that you're interested in, head over to brainyautomations.com where I personally teach you how to automate content creation and elements of your business to free up your time, save you a ton of money and improve your overall efficiency. And I do this all through bite-sized, action-packed, straight to the point video training. In order to get access to the Canvas feature, which is currently in alpha, you will need to complete a form. I'll leave the link in the description below for you to do that. If you get approved to try this new feature, in the sidebar you'll notice a new feature called Canvas. We'll click on that and now it will list all of our template over here. If we jump into the lead management template, it shows a flow diagram of all the steps it takes in order to automate a specific task. So an example of this is step one would be when someone fills out a form on your website. So a new lead comes in. That lead is then added to our database. And then from our database, we are notified via Slack. And then the marketing department will review the lead. And if it's a low touch or low quality sort of lead, it will enter our HubSpot account where an email sequence will then happen or if it's an upmarket lead it will then be filtered and then forwarded on inside Slack to our sales rep and our sales rep will then draft an email. You can see just how clean this interface is and I'm going to show you how we can actually use this and explain all of the tools and features. But first, let me know you enjoy content like this by tapping the like button on this video. To summarize what Canvas actually is, it's a flow diagram tool that helps you map out all of your zaps, especially if you struggle with vocalizing each step of a process. This will allow you to create every step of a process and then forward it on to whoever wants to see it. Take this YouTube automation system I've developed, which you can find inside Brainy Automation. This flow will automatically detect a new video inside my Dropbox folder. It will then do a whole bunch of stuff to it, like run it through AI to create descriptions, titles, tag, timestamp, and then it will filter the video according to certain criteria to upload onto one of my many YouTube channels. Let's go ahead and create a diagram to see how it all fits together. We'll start off by clicking create and first things first, we will explore the interface. So in the top left, we have our options like we can hide the summary bar or show it again. We can then zoom in and out of the interface or the canvas and then we can just click the fit to view and that will show every single step in this diagram. If we click anywhere on the canvas, we can drag things around. And if we hover over the canvas, we can add another step or a split path, which we'll get into shortly. If you click on a step, this sidebar will open up and we can decide if it's going to be a step involving a person or a group, or we'll just let Zapier automate it with Zaps. We then can add a title, assign it to a group of people, and even add our tables and interfaces inside Zapier, which are still in beta. When nothing's selected on the screen, at the bottom, we can drag default steps in, add path, add actual Zap tables and interfaces. But all of these need to be connected so I'll show you how to do that shortly. So as a content creator, let's say I want to automate one of my YouTube videos. The way I tend to do this is I upload videos to Dropbox. So we're going to say when new video in Dropbox and it doesn't need to be assigned to anyone. So I'm going to leave this blank. And for the app, we can state which apps it needs. So in this case, it's Dropbox. And now nice and visual, we know this is relating to a Dropbox file and we've got the description. We're now going to hover over the box and click add step. I actually need to convert it into an MP p3 file in other words separate the audio so i'll say convert into mp3 and then we'll connect a tool like cloud convert the next step would be adding another step and this one would be something on the lines of converting this audio file into a transcription which is turning audio to text 
and we can use the OpenAI app to do just that. So now we have three things that's just about to happen. But what if this video that we're uploading might be about two different topics? See, on my YouTube channel, I tend to either review videos or review products or I showcase product. And the format for both these are slightly different. So what if I needed these formats to follow a specific sort of template that I use for both of them? Well, I can hover over here click plus and do split test and we can rename the path name contains review and name an extension of this diagram and we're, we're placing conditions and then we would create a series of events that match this criteria or a series of events that match this criteria so if it does not contain review in the name perhaps we just want to drag in this this zap and then we can search for one of our zap so let's say I've already created a zap to do with enhancing a video. And then this zap comprises of a whole bunch of zaps that I've already created inside Zapier. So I can connect multiple zaps together with the templates I've already created. And then perhaps once it's done that, we can then add maybe a table and then we can connect our table to let's say website reviews. But thinking about it, the website reviews should actually be in this one. So I'll go ahead and right click and do delete. And then right click and do delete again. Drag that zap in like this, select the zap, add the table, and I'll add it to website reviews. So let's just take a moment to see what's going on here. When a new video is uploaded to my Dropbox account, convert the video into an MP3, turn that MP3 into text. Then if the name of the file contains review, trigger this zap and then add that video into our database of website review. But if it does not meet the criteria of having review in the name, then go down this path. And you can then even split the path even more and start making some really complex diagrams. When you click on a zap, you can go straight into it and click the edit zap button. You can make adjustments inside the zap and you can publish it and it will also update in this chart as well. Before we end the video, I want to show you the share option. When you click on share, you can give people access who can edit it. So perhaps your team members or just set it to no access. So only the person creating it can access it. Moving on to your options, you can give it further information like the name and description, or this is where you'll delete it. And then you can also download a PNG snapshot of the entire diagram. So if we click download, open it up. I think this is meant to be the entire shot, but at the moment it's only shooting the bit of the screen. I do believe this is meant to be the full canvas snapshot, but it's still in alpha, so they're still making tweaks. So overall, what do I think of the canvas? I actually think it might be the beginning stages of Zapier changing their entire interface. Getting people used to creating the diagrams first is an excellent way to start getting you to working with this sort of layout. I actually find it a lot more intuitive to use and and easier to navigate. So being able to create zaps exactly in this canvas will be an amazing update. I'm often creating complex zap which have many paths it goes down. I manage multiple YouTube channels, more social media accounts than I can count. So having something that I can clearly draw out and map out and see how the logic works with everything is super handy. I'd love to know what you think about Zapier Canvas so drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.